Hi, welcome to the Know Before You Grow series. Today we're going to be looking at the Costa Maine tomato and veggies backed soil. I'm Matt with Soil Lab. And I'm Chris of My Soil. Follow us along as we fill out a scorecard, evaluate its overall score, and best usage. Let's go ahead and start off with a score on price. We paid $31.80 per cubic foot for this bagged soil, and based on our chart, that gives us one a score of three. So let's go ahead and put three on the scorecard, and then I'll turn it over to Chris to talk about the next thing that consumers will likely notice when they buy bagged soil. Yeah, the next thing consumers usually notice when they buy a bag soil and they open the bag is the smell. What's the, what's the smell? On this particular soil, I, I actually rated it as a nine. Uh, very, you know, pleasant smell. This real earthy, like soil smell to it to me. Yeah, and you know, I had this one scored um, as an eight. I had earthy and very pleasant um, as my descriptors for how this smelled. If you could smell soil fertility, that's kind of what this smelled like to me. As I'm looking at this, you know, it's a pretty uniform soil. I love that dark color that you get out of it. That's likely from a lot of that composted manure in there. And the little bit of wood chunks that you have, they're pretty well broken down, they're aged. Um, so for look and feel, um, it's really consistent. And I had it at a 9.5 actually. This is one of the better looking and feeling bag soils that I've had the opportunity to get my hands on. Yeah, I rank this particular soil on look and feel at a nine. Okay, perfect. So we'll put 9.25 in that scorecard and then move on to nutrient levels. So Chris, my soil, why don't you go ahead and talk us through nutrient levels and how you, uh, how you scored this one. Yes, for every uh, potting mix that we do before we plant the plants, we do the soil analysis. Uh, on this particular soil, uh, it scored pretty well. I actually scored it at a, at a seven. Um, the only reason it didn't score a little higher is it was low in one of our, our macronutrients and an important one being nitrogen on the test. All the other macronutrients were really good. Uh, micronutrients, although weren't optimal, they're a little higher than some of the ones that we see on some of these bag soils and pH was within the optimal range. Yeah, absolutely. I had it scored as a seven um, as well. So we're in alignment there. I do want to talk about something just briefly though, even though those nitrogen levels are suboptimal, you notice that after six weeks of growth, these are pretty robust plants. Normally we'd see nitrogen being limiting at that level. What we think happened though, and this is based on a second soil test just last week, is that that nitrogen that was in the manure continually released through the trial to pretty closely match plant needs. Now, we see it kind of running out of a little gas right now, week six with some of this chlorosis, that yellowing that you're seeing on some of the older tissue. Um, so, nutrient levels, seven for the scorecard. Yep. Perfect. Now, the next thing is we're looking at this, will it grow a plant? What did you notice as this grew out, Chris? I noticed that this soil will grow a plant uh, very well. Um, this is a very robust, you know, tomato plant as well as our uh, lettuce that's underneath here. Um, very nice um, growth on the lettuce, uh, big full leaves. Um, this did this soil did really well on plant growth um, for both of our lettuce and our tomato plants. Yeah, absolutely. The only thing I might add is, you know, we we're growing this out with five other soils. Um, and this one had a great bushiness, but upright growth, but it stayed pretty rigid. Um, there was no need to stake this one out, even with this much biomass. So on, from a will it grow standpoint, I was at a nine. I gave it a nine as well. This is one of our top per performers to date. Yeah, absolutely. So the overall rating, when we look at all the averages, comes out to 7.35. So definitely, as Chris mentioned, one of our uh, higher performers that we've seen to date. So from a best use standpoint, you can do just like we did here, fill a container and plant your plants. You might think of like a mid-season uh, top dress of fertilizer um, as that nitrogen starts to slow down. What else were your thoughts, Chris? Yeah, best use is for me the same thing, kind of plant it and let it go. It's gonna do pretty well. Um, some plants like our tomatoes that have a little bit longer life cycle than um, the lettuce, um, you may need to come in and top dress it at some point with a little bit of nitrogen, but uh, it's gonna do very well for you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just to recap, this Costa Maine tomato and veggies mix um, was a top performer for us. A little bit more expensive on a price per cubic foot, but you're getting that value in plant growth and development if you're looking for a set it and leave it option. 
We hope this information helps you determine if the Costa Maine tomato and veggie is right for you. And I also would encourage you to check out the other Know Before You Grow videos that we have. Thanks for watching to the end and following along, and I'll look forward to seeing you again soon in the lab.